it's Courtney here from Creative Courtney, and today we're going to be making the baby rain dragon from Dragon Veil. So, let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been posting lately because I've been busy doing a lot of other things, and I, this spring break I have been busy doing a bunch of tutorials for you guys that are all going to come out in April and May, and I'm just so excited. So let's just get started with this rain dragon, okay? So for this tutorial, we're going to be needing, um, um, light blue and dark blue and some white and black. Okay, and maybe some pink for the top. So first we're going to take our dark blue and we're going to have to mirror this wing. We're going to make two wings. And we're going to have to mirror the wing we're doing right now. So you're going to take two blue and you're going to want to go down. You're going to want to go down that column all the way down. Let's go ahead and do that. You're going to want to go down until almost the last peg, oops, wrong side, almost the last peg, you're going to want to go down until there's one space left. Now in the middle, you're going to want to go down and do the same thing, and you're going to stop at this peg right here, which leaves the other one open, so you go down the middle. And then you're going to want to go from the third peg in the middle, third peg from the middle, one, two, three, you're going to go out on the third peg. Okay, and then after you go out on the third peg, we're gonna go down um, until this peg right here. Then you're gonna go in, and then go in like that, and then with, an, with more light blue, you're gonna go in again. You're gonna go across. Now your room should look like this. Now I'm going to double loop the whole thing with blue, and for the top, we're just going to do one there, and then from these two, are going to be those two, are going to be two double loops, so there's a double loop there, a double loop there, we're going only over two bands. And then the rest of the column is going to be these triangle ones, so do that all the way down. Now your loom should look like this with everything double looped. And you're going to take your hook, and you're going to take a blue, a light blue, wrap it around, creating four loops on the hook, like this. Now you have four loops on the hook, you're going to take two more light blue, you're going to pull that on. I should have this, and you're going to do that one more time, you're going to take two more blue, and you're going to pull that on, and reclaim the end, so now you should have this, and you're going to place that one right here, you're going to place that one in that peg right there, and you're going to make two more, and you're going to place it on this peg and this peg, so go ahead and do that. We're going to place them right here, push it down, and we're going to place our other one right here, and push it down. So now you should have this in, and now what we're going to do is just um, move up the whole thing, starting from this peg right here. You're going to loom that one there, and you can loom up the rest of it. And you're going to have to make another one of these wings and do the mirror technique and do it opposite. And you should have um, two wings. You should have another wing. And then I'll show you how to do these um, blue stripe things in a minute because we need to add these blue stripe things um, for when... Um, because the rain dragon has too little... Um, things on its wing, so we'll have to add those after we loom this up. So loom this up first, and I'll show you what to do next. So we're going to start at the very, almost the very bottom of it. We're going to start at like the last column, we're going to plunge our hook through it like that. We're going to take two blue bands, dark blue bands, we're going to take two dark blue bands, and we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull them through 
the wing. So then we have blue bands on this side, and we have a blue band pair on this side over here. Then we're going to plunge it through the light blue part one more time. And we're going to we're going to stick our hook through the light blue part. So now it's still in the light blue, and we're going to replace that blue over it like that. And we're going to take two more dark blue, and we're going to pull that blue on that side. We're going to pull that blue on that side, and the wing over. And then we'll have this left over, and we're also going to pull these little two blues at the bottom. We're going to pull those over as well. Take our hook. We're going to put it through the blue, the blue rim at the top. We're going to stick it to the blue rim, and then on this side where we have our other loop, we're going to put that on our hook, like that. And then we're going to take one more dark blue and pull all of everything on your hook onto that one blue band. So then we have this, and we can now tie a slip knot. We can place that on our hook and take the rest. Take the band on the back out and tie a slip knot like that. Okay, now we're going to weave that through. We're going to weave it to the end of the wing where we have our feathers at. We're going to go back and forth, weaving it through, weaving it through. And once we have weaved it, almost all the way through, we're going to place it around our first feather. So we have weaved it through here, and then we're going to tie it around this first feather we have right here. Okay, and we still have to do one more. So this one we're going to plunge our hook through the light blue, take two blue, pull them on, pull the wing through it, and plunging it through the top blue, plunging it through the top blue at the top, and placing our other blue bands onto our hook, and tying a slip knot to there as well. Just like that. So now I have our other blue, where we have an another slip knot. We're gonna weave that through the top of the wing again. And we're going to tie also tie it around this first feather. So we're going to put our hook through the first, put our hook through the first um, column at the top. Take our blue, pull it to, to this side, and then pull it to the other side, and just keep doing that until you get to the feather at the other side. So we have it. We're going to place it around the feather. We have our two wings now, and we are ready to go on to the lower jaw. So I'll see you there. So now we're going to move on to the lower jaw. We're going to take our light blue, and we're going to go down five times down the middle column with two light blue bands. So go ahead and do that. Then we're going to go down the sides four times. Two blue and go in like that, and then we're going to double the whole thing. Let's try it. Go ahead and do that. And to make our time, we're going to take one orange, double loop it right underneath the um, lower jaw, take another orange, double loop it, take another orange, double loop it, so now you should have three oranges below your lower jaw, cap that off with an orange, wrap, it up, wrap an orange band around, cleaning for loops, clean that up, I'll show you where to place it, and place our tongue right there on that peg. Okay, so now if your um, peg down here is capped off, you can loom up the whole thing, tie us at three ends, and we'll move on to the upper jaw. So let's go. Now we have our lower jaw, and we're gonna, and we'll see you at the upper jaw, okay? Okay, now we're gonna be doing the lower jaw, I mean the upper jaw. So we're gonna take two dark blue and we're going to go down the middle column seven times down the middle column with two dark blue bands. So do that. 
We go down six times on this column. We're going to go out on the third peg in the middle. We're going to go out there and we're going to go down four times. Then we're going to take our hook. We're going to take a black. We're going to wrap it around creating four loops like that. And we're going to do it to another black. Wrap it around creating four loops. And now we have two blacks creating four loops. We're going to take two dark blue bands. We're going to put them on our hook like this, and we're going to slip one of the black bands, I mean, one of the black loops onto your um, blue band. So then you're going to place that on this side. Then you're going to place that right there. And you're going to do the same thing to the other one. Take two blues and pull it on. And then you're going to place that one on the other side. Okay, then we're going to take um, a blue, double loop it right underneath the upper jaw, take another dark blue, double loop it again, and cap that off, two, three, four, so you should have a double looped here, and a double looped here, and then a cap that off, you're going to loom that up, so then you should have five of those, so go ahead and do that right now. Five little head things on our hook now, we're going to keep those, and we're going to Double loop this whole thing. We're going to double loop the first two on the top first. So then these two are just two double loops there, but everything else is the double loop triangles that look like this. Everything else is double loop triangles that look like these. So do those the rest of the way down. So go ahead and do it. And what you're going to do is you're going to take, um, you're going to make our eyes now. So we're going to take, to make our eyes, we're going to need some white. Take a white, wrap it around our hook, creating four loops, like that. Then we're going to take a black, wrap it around our hook, creating four loops, like that. Push it down, we're going to do another white, wrap it around our hook, creating four loops, and push that down. So then we're going to do that again. We're going to take a white, wrap it around our hook, creating four loops. Push that down, we're going to take a black, wrap it around our hook, creating four loops. Push that down. And do it again to the last white. Push that down. So now you should have this on your hook, little eyes. And you're going to take a blue, a dark blue, double loop stuff onto it. I'm going to do mine very fast, so see you in a sec, because I sometimes mess up. Okay, so then you're going to attach your eyes, so then they're right here, so then they're right there, and then you're going to separate them and put the, the band right here, so it's like a triangle. A dark blue band, wrap it around the bottom peg, creating four loops, so then it looks like this. Okay, we're going to take our double loop band that goes there, we're going to take that double loop band off, and we're going to pull one of our blue spike things onto it. We're going to pull it on like this, and we're going to place it back, so then it will be facing down like that. The head pieces are placed here, here, and here, and here, and there's also one here on this double looped band facing down. So now it's going to loom up this whole thing and loom up to these three head pieces on these three pegs. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to take off the double loop bands for each one, and we're going to attach them to each one of these things. And as we do, we're going to loom up the bands underneath it. So like I just attached that one, we're going to gently loom it off and attach it to the one in the middle. So I just attached this end to there, and you're going to face it upside down while you attach it. So um, face the lower jaw upside down and attach them to each of the things. So then the middle would go into the middle and the other ends would go into the ends. So just attach them onto those three pegs and then left the Now we'll move on to the body. Okay. 
see it. Okay, you gotta take two dark blue and go down the whole middle column all the way down to do that. I'm gonna go out like this. And then go down those two columns all the way down. You gotta do it so the bottom looks like this. And then after that, you gotta cap it off here. At the bottom, you gotta cap it off with you can do a double loop that goes from here to here. And then you're gonna do double loop bands, triangles. These, these triangles all the way up. So go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna take the head and attach it upside down to these two at the bottom, like that. And we're gonna attach it just like that. the head just like this. Then up to then up to that peg on each side and do it to the other side too. Then up to go there. You're gonna place the point with the three little spikes away from the upward and then downward. And if they said three spikes, the long spike toward the head. So we're gonna face it like that. We're gonna face the other one like this. So then I have like little ends for their wings. Okay. We're gonna face the spikes away from it. We're gonna go through the top loop with the dark blue. And we're gonna place some on the bands and pegs that we just loomed up to, so the, so the pegs that we just loomed up to, we're going to place these dark blue ones. I'm going to place a dark blue one there. Is it going on? Wait. No, that's right. We're going to place a dark, a dark blue, dark blue loop on each side where we just loomed up to. And then, so we have those um, dark blue top. We're going to place them on those two pegs that we just loomed up to. We're going to loom those up. We're going to loom up beneath those. And as we loom up, not as we loom up, we place it down like that. And then we place the other one on top of this one after it's loomed up. So go ahead and do that. I also do it to the other side, and then you can loom the rest up and tie it off, and I'll see you at the tail. See you at the tail. So now we're going to make the tail. So we're going to take three light blue, and we're going to go down four times down the middle to so do that. And two times with two blue. So you should have three blue, three blue, three blue, three blue, and then two blue, two blue. Then you're going to take a double looped light blue and another double looped light blue. So last two here and here, those are double looped. Then you're going to take a dark blue and double loop it. Another dark blue and double loop it. Then you're going to take two dark blue and then two more dark blue. So the ending is two dark blue, two dark blue, double loop dark blue, double loop dark blue, a double loop light blue, a double loop light blue, two light blue, two light blue, um, three light blue, three light blue, three light blue, and three light blue. Then we're going to attach the dragon upside down to this peg at the bottom here, and we're going to loom the whole thing up and tie it off with one light blue band, and then we're going to be ready to move on to the stomach, so go ahead and do that. I'll see you at the stomach. And and just like we did with several other things, we're gonna loop the slip knot through the tail. And so then it's like um a dew drop on it after because you're gonna loop it through all these light blue and then tie it around that and then it'll be like this little dew drop thing at the top here. So go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna show up. You're gonna take your light blue and go down all the way down the middle column with two light blue bands all the way down. So go ahead and do that.
Then you're gonna go out on the sides and go all the way down to the bottom on those two columns as well with two blue, light blue bands. After you go to the bottom, you're gonna curve in like that, and then you're gonna double loop the whole thing with light blue. So go ahead and do that. All of your double loop bands should be triangles that go all the way down, and you're gonna cap the end off with a band making four loops, and then you're gonna I'm gonna place my dark blue bands on and I'll show you in a sec. Yes, I have changed my position. Now I'm upstairs, but it, that doesn't matter. So this is where I placed all of the blue bands. And um they should all be here, including one down there, and this should there should be a light blue wrapped around this peg creating four loops. So after you've placed um all of your things, then you should just um, loom up the whole thing, and I'll see you at attaching this to the um, dragon. And we're going to tie this off with one um, dark blue band, and we only need one to tie it off. So we're going to do that after we loom the whole thing up. So go ahead and loom the whole thing up, and I'll see you at attaching it to the dragon. Let's go. I'll see you at attaching this to the body. Okay, so now we have our dragon on our stomach. We're going to place the loop, the tying loop, near the head. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the body like this. And with our hook on the other side like this underneath, we're going to pull that headband through. And it's going to end up on the top. And we're going to do that to all of the other bands across around the dragon. So go ahead and do that. So then you're going to take one band and then you're going to slip it through the next one and then you're going to pull it through. So you're going to do that all the way around. So you're just going to take, be taking the next band and slipping it through. Do that all the way around and go ahead and do that. I'll see you for the outro. Thanks everyone for watching my baby rain dragon tutorial. Hopefully I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe.